Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. Really appreciate you. We do not take your support for granted. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Regarding this um, Fulani Hetman crisis in the Southwest, you know, of late, um, the talks about uh, what's going on in the Southwest is that uh, a lot of um, these governors, they've been playing politics. They've been playing politics. They are not ready to take decisive and majors to actually end this thing. It's such a shame. It's a, it's a shame. And it's so painful to see that their own people are being killed, maimed, raped, all sort of criminal uh, 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 atrocities committed against their people and they are playing politics with it. It's so sad. What's been noticed right now is that uh, there's no unity with all of these um, Southwest governors. They are not united. You know, that's one of the things that um, Sunday Goho complained about, even um, um, the, the, the Yoruba warlord. Areo Nakankafo of Yoruba land, Ibagani Adams, he stated this, that Fulani Hetzman is not even our problems. It's just that um, we are not united. We don't have one mind. When we say one thing out there, we mean something else. We are not pursuing it. We are not following it to the end. That is why we're experiencing all of these things. The one we have right now is that 81 traditional leaders have actually rejected the proposed ranching for headsmen in Ekiti State. That's it. They, they've said their mind. I mean, these uh, traditional leaders, I want to believe that they are speaking for the interest of the people. We cannot continue that way. These guys, they've been given the ultimatum that they should go. Go and continue your ranching in your own um, locality in the northern and part of the country. Go and carry on there. Not here. Anyway, guys, um, they've kicked against um, what um, Ekiti State Governor, the person of um, Kayode Fayemi, have proposed. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, guys. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that notification bell, guys. Press on the bell until it turns grey. God bless you. No fewer than 81 traditional rulers in Ekiti State have rejected the state government's proposed ranching for headsmen under the National Livestock Transformation Plan of the federal government, the traditional rulers under the auspice of majority orbas of Ekiti land, Mobile, in a letter addressed to the state governor, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, noted that the moves by the state government would constitute a security threat to lives and properties of their subjects, saying the headsmen are known for violence wherever they live. The letter dated March 25, 2021, was signed by the Olumoke of Omoe. Ke Ekiti, Oba, Adebayo, Oti Toju, and the Onikon of Ika Amure, Ekiti, Oba, David, Olushola as chairman and secretary respectively alongside other 79 monarchs. The traditional rulers urge that we are mindful of the security implications and consequences which will be immunical to the security of our people knowing fully where the majority of our populace is predominantly peasant farmers. We are also not undermindful of the antecedent of some of the Fulani headers, wherever they cohabit with their host. Since the time it was reported that the state is favorably disposed to the proposed program, which will lead to the direct occupation of our lands by Fulani headers, we have been inundated with series of complaints laden with fears from our subjects, both from home and in the diaspora. They called on Governor Fayemi to consider the security of lives and property of the residents in his administration's policies and programs, declaring that the proposed program, which we perceive to be another non monclature of rural grazing area, Ruga, the widely rejected land grabbing initiative, is unacceptable to our subjects. The State Commissioner for Agriculture, Dr. Olabode Adetoyi, had confirmed that the government would be resuscitating the cattle ranch settlements in Oke, Ako, and Irele as part of measures to provide solutions to the prevalent farmers' headers clashes in the state. In Ekiti State now, under the National Livestock Transformation Plan, we are bringing back our cattle ranch settlement at Oke, Ako, and Irele for whoever wants to graze their cattle, 
they will register there and provision will be made there too the commissioner said wow these politicians <laughs> we can see 87 if 87 traditional rulers have actually kicked against this thing it's serious that means um, Kyle de fire me is doing something else we don't know what mission he's into you know what um, the state government take it the state government plan is that um, they they are opening the land up they are giving the land up to Fulani headsmen. That Fulani headsmen can come and uh, graze openly, and that is not what uh, is wanted. What has happened now is that they've kicked against it. I don't know how Kayode is going to escape this one because very well it looks like um, Kayode is um, taking sides with um, the federal government, deciding to give lands to these people when um, the Yorubas have openly rejected the Fulanis that they should go back. You know, that is where this agitation is coming from, and it's very clear right now that. Um, these are with governors you know it's only accurate the little to me that has come out openly to actually state his own position that um, he's not in support all of these other ones we can see very well that they are not even in support of the oduduwa nation this um, breakaway that um, um sunday go is pushing for and also professor uh akinto he's sad anyway and uh, one thing because if we look, if, even if we look at the north we can see that they are very united in everything they do even the Fulani headsmen who are attacking people you can see the way they are even defending them Record the time when um, Bauchi state governor was stating that um, Fulani headsmen should go about with AK-47 that they are defending themselves they give reasons they come out with different things but our own people to even defend our own we cannot defend our own knowing fully well that these uh, the, the farmers they are, they are vulnerable, I'll put it that way, because they don't go to a farm with AK-47 anytime they are being encountered by these Fulani headsmen. The Fulani headsmen overpower them because they are very uh, uh, equipped with sophisticated weapons. They go about with sophisticated weapons. Well, my people, I want to hear your take on this. Let's hear your own take um, down below in the comment section. It is um, um, 81 traditional leaders that have actually rejected this proposed ranching. I don't know if um, uh, Kayode would use uh, power to push it through or if um, they will meet at somewhere at the middle. If there will be a compromise, but they've stated it that they are not accepting it, that these guys have caused too much pain, that their lands will not be given to them for ranching. They should go back to the north and carry on their ranching. I just hope that this one will not escalate into any sort of um, problem anymore. Well, guys, let us know your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that notification bell. Press the bell until it turns gray. God bless you. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.